It's Kitchen Courses with Kate and Eric. Hi, Kate. Hey, Eric. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> so I want to know, where did you get your love for Halloween from? You have like this deep love of Halloween. Do I? <laughs> or is that from uh, Will? Will has a deep love. Will has a deep love of Halloween. I enjoy Halloween mostly because of the candy. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Hot take. My, like, favorite sort of random candy that is basically only around at Halloween uh-huh. is those, like, peanut butter kisses in the orange or black wrappers oh, that are kind of like salt okay. water taffy, but they're not because they're peanut butter and they're delicious. I do not know if I know of these candies. I mean, I'm going to have to look look for them when I go Halloween candy shopping. So good. Yeah. Huh. I like Reese's Pieces. Like my same like, get those chocolate. Whenever. I know. And then Mounds or Almond Joy would be my second favorite. Gross. Mm. Sorry. We made a red velvet cupcake. Mm-hmm. You can make a cupcake with a box mix. So we're not going to show you how to do that. Yep. So red velvet box mix. Yep. Uh, and you could use a different flavor if you want. But mm-hmm. because it is a bloody finish, we opted for red velvet. And then we did a fairly standard cream cheese frosting that we have piped onto the cupcake. And you you should take, I mean, you did this beautifully. Like you did the icing and you did that beautiful piping. It's gorgeous. And then we also did a sugar glass, which is what the shards in the top of the cupcake are. For the blood, you could get fancy and do, like, a berry compote or mm-hmm. something. Uh, we elected to just use some sparkle gel. It looks, yeah. I mean, it looks pretty bloody awful. Um, to make the sugar glass. Yes. It's, it's a bit of a bear. Okay. Um, so in a saucepan, you're going to mm-hmm. add one and a half cups of water, three cups of sugar, half a cup of light corn syrup, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Ooh, what does the cream of tartar do? I think it helps stiffen it. Okay. Um, you're going to put it all in your saucepan mm-hmm. over medium high heat mm-hmm. and bring it to a boil. Yep. Threw my thermometer in, put the lid on it over high heat, mm-hmm. and just let it boil, 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 mm-hmm. boil, boil, <laughs> boil, boil, <laughs> and eventually it got to 303. Okay. And then very carefully poured it into a cookie sheet that I had lined with aluminum foil. Uh huh. And very carefully poured it out into a thin layer. Ours is a little thicker. So would you, so I would say in terms of addressing that, would you just say use a lot, like a a bigger baking sheet so it could get up, make a a thinner layer? I would say you might actually want to just use like a half of the recipe. Per per tray that size. Per tray or just in general because like, we only decorated oh, that's true. four cupcakes, but yep. we still have like 70 to 80 percent <laughs> of our sugar glass left. Got it. Um, so then you cool it for a few hours uh-huh. or a day or two, uh-huh. and then you shatter it and you get delightful like glass shards. And then, after you've piped your cupcake, you stab your cupcake like a murderer! (sighs) But you only stab it once. You don't stab it repeatedly. Unless you're stabbing with multiple shards. And then you squirt bloody red gel all over it to make it look like a terrible, terrible accident has occurred on your cupcake. So for all of you Halloween lovers out there, this is the cupcake for you. This makes me like sad and scared at the same time. Don't stab yourself <laughs> on the sugar while you're eating it. Yeah. So like, 
that, I mean, I think that's a good point, right? So you might have to, I actually have had a piece of the, the, the kind of the sugar glass is, um, it, it's almost like a, it's a nice candy. Like I'm kind of sucking on it right now. It's nice candy, but you definitely don't want to chomp down too hard and you don't want to like stab yourself with it if it has a sharpie, a sharp pointy edge. Yeah. Warning, not <laughs> for children. Not, oh my gosh. Yeah, do not make this for your children's holiday party. That would just, that's that's an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, do not do that. But for a fun adult party, um, where everybody loves each other, because <laughs> you don't want something bad to happen, this is a great, a great Halloween. Great Halloween treat. treat. Oh.